Okay, let's talk about the AccuPlacer and specifically the math component of um, uh, various AccuPlacer math exams. So the AccuPlacer, as you probably know if you're watching this video, is a uh, test that you take to determine your placement into a program or college uh, to see kind of where you're going to start out. Now it's extremely important because if you start at a lower level than you really should be at, you're going to be wasting time and money in your education. So you really want to do very well on the AccuPlacer. And again, there's a uh, different type of uh, AccuPlacer exams depending on what level you're going for. Um, I actually have a uh, math prep uh, courses for all these AccuPlacer exams. You can check out the uh, link to those in the description of this video if you're interested. But with that being said, I really want to stress a tip that you really need to know irrespective of what exam, um, AccuPlacer exam you may be taking. Okay, so that's um, the focus of this video. Now my background I'm a math teacher, been teaching math many, many years, um, do a lot with uh, test prep mathematics as well. So, you know, I like to kind of pass on these tips. And this one very well may be the most valuable tip that I could uh, give. Now, before I share that with you, and I'm going to get to it, I'm not going to make you wait too much longer. Um, I uh, want to stress that there is no substitute for um actually knowing mathematics. So I could give you all the, my best tips and strategies to take an exam, but honestly, that's not going to mean much if you don't have the fundamentals down. And for the ACCUPLACER, um, you know, you really do need to know a lot of math. So you need to a program of study. If you like my teaching style, again, you can um, either check out my full courses or maybe subscribe to my channel. I got a lot of stuff there for you. But with that being said, let's get into the tip. Okay, the AccuPlacer exams are a multiple choice. So that's kind of a clue. So if you're thinking to yourself, okay, where's this guy going? Let's get into it. So what if I had a basic um, an equation like so here, all right? And, well, actually, it's a good little pop quiz here. Let's see if you can solve this equation, right? So, if you, you know, to solve this equation, it's 2x minus uh, 9 equals 11. What you would do is you would add 9 to both sides of the equation. Okay, so I'm going to get 2x is equal to 11 plus 9 is what? 20, and I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 and I get x equals 10. So that's my solution. So where am I going with this? Well, on AccuPlacer it's multiple choice. So you would expect to have a B, C, D. Let's just have these options, right? So let's say we have x equals negative 3, x equals 6, x equals 12, and x is equal to 10. Okay? So you would be like, oh, okay, my answer is x equals 10. I see it over here, so I'm going to select uh, D for my answer. Makes sense, right? Very good. So again, the AccuPlacer is uh, multiple choice. Now, let's kind of go through and change the scenario a bit here, okay? What if the equation, now that's a very nice equation, what if the equation is something like this, 3x squared minus x equals negative 5, all right? Now, in this case, you may not know how to do this particular equation. So you're saying, well, geez, I don't know how to approach this. And it, in order to solve this particular equation, there's multiple steps involved. It could take you a significant amount of time. The wonderful thing about multiple choice math questions is the following, okay? One of these options here are, is going to be the answer, okay? Now, sometimes if they want to be tricky about it, you may have none of the above, right? So let's say you have an, uh, a choice here for A, B, and C, then D, they'll say maybe none of the above. Now, in that case, I can get a little bit uh, more complicating, but I kind of uh, digress here. Let me kind of get into this a little bit more. So let's say you had no idea how to do this problem. Well, you still can determine uh, the right answer. So how do you do that? Well, you substitute in your options here 
until you can get the one that balances the equation. So let's go to um, uh, let's use x equals 10, right? Let's let's uh, let's think to ourselves maybe this is the answer. Um, I don't know, but I can certainly check. Okay. So the way I would do that is this: if x is equal to 10, what's going to happen in an equation? We're going to substitute all the x values for that quantity. So I'm going to have 3 times 10 squared, not x squared, right, because x is going to be equal to 10, minus 10, and we want to see if all that is going to be equal to negative 5. So again, you're going to have to know some basic uh, fundamental mathematics here, like the order of operations and how to work with positive and negative numbers, etc. But the first thing I need to do is square this right here, right? So 10 squared is going to be 100, so that's going to be 3 times 100 minus 10, and this is going to is this going to be equal to negative 5? Well, some of you may already kind of tell that there's no way this is going to work. So you can just eliminate this as an answer. But let's let's follow through, right? So 3 times 100 is 300. So is 300 minus 10 equal to negative 5? Well, clearly it's not because 300 minus 10 is 290, and that is not equal to negative 5. Okay, so because it's not equal to negative 5, you can eliminate this as an option. This is extremely, extremely powerful and beneficial to you. Okay, so um, you know when you go into this exam, if you know your, your math and you're really solid with your math skills, and you have this just this one strategy down you're going to do very well in the AccuPlacer, okay? So let's talk about situations where this can work, okay? Let me go ahead and erase this. So not only, well, let's, let me just kind of uh, establish this first. So scenarios where this can work. Well, if you're going to do any sort of equation, okay, any sort of equation can be any type of equation like a, uh, a linear equation, something really nice and easy, something like maybe this. You can have a quadratic equation, something we just looked at, maybe like this. Okay. Now you can also use this uh, strategy on things like systems of equations, 2x minus. 5y equals 7, x plus y equals 9, things like this. Anytime you have variable values in an equation, when you see an equation, this is the biggest thing I want to get across, when you see the equation symbol and are asking you to solve the equation, that this is huge, okay? So, so equations are a massive, um, Almost, there's really no excuse to get them wrong, even if you don't know how to do them, if you know how to substitute your values in, okay? Uh, now, along with equations, inequalities is another good opportunity. So if I have something like this, 2x minus negative 7, okay? Of course, you need to know something about inequalities as well. And now let's see here. Let's say, again, these were our options. And I'm checking our my first uh possible answer x equals negative 3. Now, in fact, this wouldn't be for inequalities. You will not, inequalities don't have one solution. But I might say this this um, uh, question could be something like, which one of these values is part of the solution uh, set to this inequality? So we would plug these in. Okay, so for example, I could plug in negative 3 and it would be 2 times negative 3 is that less than negative 7. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. Is negative 6 less than negative 7? Quick, uh, quick pop quiz for you that are watching. Let's see how much you know about inequalities. Is this true or false? Okay. True or false? Well, in fact, negative 6 is not less than negative 7. This is false. Okay. And, you're, and I'll explain this in a second if you're like, wait, what are you talking about? Yes. So this would not be part of the solution uh, set. So if you look on a real number line, let me draw this a little bit better. Okay, so we have 0, 1, 2, etc. All the numbers are increasing in this direction. And then all the values here, negative 1, negative 2, are getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So kind of extend this out, and we look at where negative 6 is at. 
and negative 7, the num as numbers incre uh, uh, as we go to the right on the number line, the numbers get larger and larger. So negative 6 is actually a larger value than negative 7. So is negative 6 less than negative 7? No, it's not. So this would not be part of the solution, uh, solution set for this particular inequality. So <clears throat> inequalities, equations, anytime you can substitute a value and to check that answer, just massive opportunities. And you, I would just, you know, I'm just only speculating, guessing. Uh, you're probably at least a third, a quarter of the questions on AccuPlacer, you'll have a direct opportunity to do this. Okay, so multiple choice math uh, exams are a real advantage for those who have done the work. Okay, so what what's the work that you need to do? You need to know your math, and you need to know tips like this. So let's go and wrap this up. So again, my best suggestion for you when you're if you're taking AccuPlacer is this one or establish in your brain that it's going to pay huge dividends for you to do very well. Okay, you don't want to take a math class, you don't want to place into a lower level. It's you're going to be wasting time, you know, maybe a half a year potentially, um, and lots of money. Okay, so you need to study math. If you like my teaching style, again, I have like literally hundreds of videos that you can um, benefit from. If you want my, you know, want to check out my specific AccuPlacer uh, math prep courses, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. I have um, the next gen AccuPlacer exams, the college level the um, arithmetic so whatever you have to take you can check I have those courses available and you know if you enjoyed this video and you actually uh, got something out of it definitely would appreciate a thumbs up and lastly leave me some feedback let me know about your um, AccuPlacer you know study plan if you have some questions I do get a lot of comments I'll try to read as many as a uh, as I can but it lets me know how I'm doing it also gives me um, ideas on future videos I uh, make because I'm very passionate about mathematics. There's such a need out there for people to uh, to learn. And my you know, basic fo uh, focus and mission is to help those people out there you know, overcome their math anxiety and really give them uh, you know, the best advice I can give them after multiple, many, many, many years of teaching, the best, most effective way to learn math in the quickest amount of time so you can kind of get to your goals. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the AccuPlacer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.